Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun! Since last time, I made my way all the way back from the Venus Lighthouse, back through the Tunnel Ruins under Bobby Lighthouse, and through the Suhala Desert to get all the way back to the Crossbone Isle. Now that we have the carry synergy, we'll be able to go all the way to the end. I could have come back here earlier, but I wanted to get all the gin and equipment that I could out of Bobby Lighthouse and the Venus Lighthouse to make the optional super boss a lot easier. Well, maybe not a lot easier, but easier in general than it would be without. Not to mention, I could use the extra levels. We're, I'm not going to get that far today, but well, we'll see what I can do. And since last time, I've rearranged my equipment as I have listed in the video description for the first boss fight in the, or well, not in, uh, guarding the seventh room in Crossbone Isle. So if you haven't gotten this far, well, you may want to check out the previous episodes where I did go through the first six rooms. So let's see, basically, I wanted Ivan to be able to have what is it? High impact. Uh, Isaac, I just basically want to have the highest attack multiplier possible. And, yeah, Ninja to help out. And Mia to take care of single targeted healing. For boss time against the Earth Lizards. Okay, let's see what we can do here against these guys. First things first, let's start buffing up as usual. I'm going to go with Planet Diver against these guys. Even though they're weak to Jupiter... Because if I made both Isaac and Garrett into ninjas, they would... Or, well, either Ivan or Mia would get totally screwed on whatever job class they would have. So I want to use these job classes so everyone can pitch in at least a little bit against these guys. Now, they do have some fairly powerful... Yeah, earth and fire elemental attacks. So that's why I've got like storm gear on Mia. That'll help out a bit there too. Let's get one more high impact to max out what we can do there. And let's see, is cure well enough? Hmm, that might not be quite enough. Even though she's she's only lost like a little over 150 HP. Because she's a Venus, or a Mercury Adept and not Venus, she might not de or heal herself enough with just the pure well. So I just wanted to play it extra conservative there. Whoa, holy cow, Isaac is taking a lot of heat. Okay, oh wait, no, I don't want that. We got Witch Well now for Ivan. That'll really help out a lot. Yeah, with Witch Well, it... You've got like one or two healers with that. The enemies will basically never be able to kill you. Yeah, let's just use Cure Well there. Yeah, there's just no way they're going to be able to overpower your healing, even with the most powerful multi targeting synergies in the game. Uh oh. Yeah, these guys, well, they can heal themselves, too. Okay, let's see. The one on the left I should be able to kill now. So, yeah, let's just keep going with a bit of healing there. Start working on the second one. And, yeah, I should be able to finish off that guy. Hmm, I don't really need you to uh, heal anyone. So, yeah, why not attack? Get a little extra damage in there while we're at it. Oh, if I didn't say so before, uh, these guys are weak to Jupiter. So that's why I'm using Gust to take care of that. Oh, he died. Just like, wait a minute, what happened to my damage? Oh, never mind, then. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's just keep going with Wishwell there. And, yeah, let's reset that one so I'll be able to use it later. Hmm. Yeah, that ought to be good enough. 
Oh, I didn't expect to uh, be able to heal that much HP. Well, there you are. Better safe than sorry. Ow, quit it. Yeah, well, actually, you know what? How much HP you got left? You know, I think I can probably kill this guy by now. Don't even need to worry about the healing. Yeah, I don't have anything for... Isaac to do, really, to finish off the guy, but the rest of us, yeah, we should be able to. They've got 1,550 HP. So nothing too extraordinary, but... All right, got him. And we got a Water of Life out of the deal. Sweet. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Here is where we're going to need the carry and move synergies because we got those fancy looking blocks there. And I'm going to need to move them around in order to get all the treasures. Unfortunately, at least to my knowledge, the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you use this one block here to get three of the treasures. So in order to get all of them, I'm going to have to move it around, get one treasure, leave the room, get it reset to its position, use it to get another treasure, and so on and so forth. By the way, we can't get to this treasure here because, yeah, we can't get behind the wall there like that. At least not on this side, anyway. And there's a particular treasure here that some of you guys wanted me to point out, so I'll take a look at that when I get there but yeah some people were saying Ichi Bailey why are you eventually going to be using the demon axe on um... oh wait no actually yeah let's not do that leave it there I had an idea but yeah with the demon axe it's the most powerful cursed weapon in the game that doesn't require like RNG manipulation or whatever to get but there's another one that you can get here that some would argue is better than that one so let's take a look when I get there game okay yeah the wicked mace another cursed weapon there take a look at that one compared to the the demon axe there okay so we got that yeah so the wicked mace is a little weaker on the attack power but the reason some people were saying that they like using that over the demon axe is because the wicked mace can potentially poison or not poison uh inflict venom on a target which is more powerful than poison but the way i look at it is now let's try that one again. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, is that anything that has a sufficient amount of HP for Venom to be really more useful than Poison, they would have such high of a luck stat that I would never be able to inflict it on them anyway. So I might as well just go with the more powerful axe there just for its base damage and most of the time I'm going to be just using Jin to kill enemies with so I'm not really going to just be using the basic attack command anyway. Now one thing you want to watch out for here is that with these blocks you can push them over the edge of these things so be careful don't push it off or you'll have to start all over again. Speaking from personal experience, it's very annoying when that happens. But alright, well, we've almost got all the treasure here. If we go over here, ha ha! Yeah, so a little hidden platform there so you can get that treasure there. I don't think I'll need that pillar there, but, well, it's there. Okay, so, before moving on here, let's rearrange the gin a little bit. Let's see, I think Isaac is mostly going to be the same. Yeah, actually, so basically what I want to do is I want to go into my Sage Berserker job class setup. 
and except I want Torch on Garrett there so he could use that to kill something off. And as far as Mia goes, let's see, let's go like this just to give I or yeah Ivan a little more of an attack stat there. And yeah, do whatever. I just basically want double Berserker, double Sage job class. I think that's the way to go. And let's get a little healing going while we're here too. How we're doing now? Okay, I think we're all set and ready to go. Let's just make a back up here just in case before going into the eighth puzzle room. For boss time against the Poison Toad and Double Thunder Lizards. Okay, so for this one, I'm not going to be using Forge because I don't want to lose my job class. So let's go with Planet Diver. Or, wait a minute. No, no, no. We don't go with that. Uh, let's go with Bane against them because they are weak to Venus. And Planet Diver. I should be able to kill them with Bane once I'm done with that. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I don't want to use multi-targeting stuff in this fight. I want to focus on them one at a time. Ha-ha! Gotcha. Oh, you know, there is one thing I forgot to change with my setup. Well, it's not a big deal. But I wanted to equip Mia with the Elven shirt so that I could guarantee she'd get her turn before Garrett. I think she'll still get her turn before him, but, well, it's not a big deal either way. Okay, so let's try and take out that Thunder Lizard. Hopefully, Mia will get her turn before Garrett. Excellent. Ha-ha! All right, two down, one to go. Easy enough. Fortunately, this guy, yeah, he can poison you, but that's about it. Nothing extraordinary. Let's see what we got here. Do you, yes, you got the unicorn ring. Let's put that to use. Let's get back in our Berserker job class there. Wait, what did I have you do? Yeah, just go with Wish. I don't need... Actually, you know what? Why don't you attack? We could deal some respectable damage. And then cure the poison. Reset your gin. And let's see. Yeah, just a regular Wish ought to do, I think. Ah, uh, well. I was hoping I could deal some more damage with the Swift Sword, getting that triple damage effect, but nah, not happening today. That's okay. Alright, so let's see what we got. Uh, I think we're all already buffed up, aren't we? Hmm. No, I don't think so. We still need to get high impact going. Hmm. Okay, I'll just go with this. Whatever. Get that going. Okay, for some reason I thought I might have already done that. I wasn't paying attention to that. Okay, now we're all fully buffed. But, yeah, I needed some healing before. Hmm. Yeah, why don't you yeah, heal yourself? We'll just keep on going with the planet divers. And Mia. Hmm. Yeah, why don't you just attack? What a, do whatever you need to do. Oh, by the way, if it isn't obvious, the Poison Toad is weak to Mars. That's why I'm using the Planet Divers against him. Uh-oh, Poison. Okay, now I need to see... How much HP does this guy have? I forget. One moment. Okay, he has 2250... And, okay, I've dealt enough damage. I think I could kill the guy. Hmm. Yeah, let's go all out. We can finish him here. Just get a couple of attacks in beforehand. Yeah, by the way, with Torch, the way it works is the base power of the spell, or the effect isn't that high, but it ignores 50% of the target's defense. So that's why that one is pretty good, compared to some of the other ones that we got. But alright! Took care of that guy. I'll rearrange my setup 
later. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that. Whoops. Almost scared in there. I'll heal up later. But let's see. For this one, we're going to need Frost to get through this room. Now, this one is a little tricky to get through in one go, but it can be done. Okay, so we need to get this rock out of the way so that way we can get to the middle chests there. And let's see. Yeah, now I can afford to... Uh, yeah, I can afford to do that now. I was like, wait a minute, did I mess up already? No. no. Okay, now the trick to this room is when you make your ice pillar here. Oh. When you make your ice pillar here. Okay, there you go. For some reason, it activates that dragon statue. So now we can get back up there. Oh, I almost forgot. Whew, that would have been a mistake. Okay, yeah, push that little wooden pillar down. And now we can get all the rest of the treasures relatively easily. Including one that I've been alluding to for quite some time about dealing with the cursed equipment and stuff. Can never have enough potions for the next game. And finally, the prize I've been looking for. The Cleric's Ring. And it basically negates the paralysis effect that would happen with uh, equipping cursed equipment. And I want to give that to Garrett there. So now, you won't be able to remove cursed equipment once you equip it until you, like, talk to a guy at a, uh, what is it, Sanctum to remove the curse, but you won't have the paralysis effect. Nuts. So, you can basically use cursed equipment however you like now. You just can't remove it, but that's okay. It's totally worth it. It's a really powerful equipment that you get out of there, and there's one more that I would like to get for Garrett to help contribute to that, too. But can we defeat the optional super boss of the game? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!